Hey guys, Sam from Manthus Makes. How are you all? Welcome back to all my returners and hi to any newbies. It is so great to have you here. Please do stick around a while. And if you like what you see, give me a thummy. They are free. So you have clicked on today because it is crochet catch up. And that is where I fill you in on all the crocheting I have managed to do in the past week. Well, most of it. So, before we begin, I am filming this on Thursday night, the 21st of March, but you will be seeing this on the 22nd of March, which just so happens to be my birthday. And it's not just my birthday, it is my wonderful, beautiful, fabulous Yanni friend Christina's birthday over at Bella Uncinetto as well. So please, please, please head on over to Christina's channel and wish her a fabulously wonderful happy birthday. I'm not going to divulge her age. That is up to her to do. But today I am 37. So one step closer to 40, right? Anywho, let's get on to the crochet shenanigans, shall we? Christina, I am pretty sure that I can get Rolo to sing you happy birthday either in a private message or hopefully on Saturday Night Live um, because he's not currently in the room with me. So apologies for that. But Christina, I hope you have a wonderful day. I hope you get spoiled and um, I love you to bits and pieces and back together again. And she knows exactly what that means, always and forever. And um, I look forward to just everything with you by my side. Let's just leave it at that. Okay, so of course my crochet shenanigans, my crochet catch up um, should include Tile of the Week Thursday. However, that has its own separate video every Thursday, guys. So that was featured yesterday. So if you haven't seen this week's Tile of the Week, go back and check out yesterday's video. So I did, of course, make that one. And also I kind of have a one-off once a month section on the channel called magazine makes where I am actually making something from my magazines finally I've had them long enough and I need to use the patterns so there is a magazine makes video coming soon so I wanted to get some progress on that now I am sorry to beat the same old drum but there are a few newbies here my crochet time has been drastically reduced, so I am not producing as much as I once did. It makes me sad. I wish I had more crochet time, but for this period of time, I do not, and I get, down, get done as much as I can. So quite a bit of my weekend crocheting was for the magazine makes, and I will, of course, show you that in its own video as well. So there was lots of crocheting. Just two things that, well, one that I've already shown yesterday and one that I will show very soon in the future. So look forward to seeing that. And there isn't as much progress because A, it's a wearable and B, I don't have as much crochet time. So that one might be rolling over into next month, but that is okay. I can only do what I can do and I'm not stressing about it and I'm not beating myself up about it. So progress is progress, however big or small and it will get done when I get when I manage to get it done. So what else have I done? I only have two other things to show you. One is an FO and one is a whip. So let's start with the FO. Now the gorgeous Lenan over at Nina's Knots Crochet. If you are not familiar, make yourself familiar, please. I would really appreciate it. I will put her channel link down below, Nina's Knots Crochet. Go check her out, she's pretty fabulous. She has a gorgeous channel. She is one of my near and dear friends. I love her to bits and pieces. And for this year, she has been helping me, not specifically me, but she has been helping me try and achieve one of my 24 goals for 2024. And that particular goal, one of 24, is to revisit Tunisian crochet. And I have been trying to practice the Tunisian stitches that Lenan puts out on Tunisian Tuesdays. So I have another washcloth for you guys. Oh yes, indeed. Now this week it was the Tunisian twisted simple stitch and it was a little bit of a pain to begin with 
but I soon got in the flow. I soon realized that um, I needed to keep my tension consistent and slightly looser than normal in order for me to complete that stitch. And by about the third row, I was well on my way. And I managed to get this done in one sitting. So that is fabulous. Now, with all the Tunisian washcloths I've been making in recent weeks and months, I use my six millimeter inexpensive hook that I got in a set from Amazon as a gift from Mike. And I've used it on every single washcloth I have done. This time, I just grabbed whatever was in the top of that tote there, my cotton tote. And it is Devante Mistletoe Ombre Cotton Yarn. It is 100% cotton. There are 155 metres. It says strong, holds its shape and soft. And they recommend a 5.5 millimetre needle. No hook recommendation. It is obviously the colour mistletoe. So it is Christmassy, but that's okay. It's a washcloth. Um, and that is probably about as much as I can tell you. There isn't a lot on these ball bands, guys. It is, of course, red, green and white. And it is Devante. And you can get Devante here in the UK in the range, I believe. So it is exclusive to the UK. Like I said, it was right at the top of my toe. I didn't want to pull the whole thing down because it's up really high and it's really heavy. So I just popped the lid, dug my hand in for a four weight cotton. This is a four weight cotton, grabbed it and went with it. So yeah, I have a Christmassy washcloth in March, but that's okay. And I'm showcasing a Christmassy washcloth on my birthday, but that too is okay. For Malfa, it would be amazing if we could have Christmas every day. It's my favorite time of the year. So to mix Christmas with my birthday, how fabulous. So here we go. I am going to show you what I did. I don't know which way round it goes, but we will just do this. Okay, so this is the twisted simple stitch. Now, this is one of the better washcloths I have managed to produce. The tension on the sides is much more even. I'm much happier with that. They are the neatest, oops, they are the neatest sides that I have had so far in my Tunisian crochet journey. Now, to start off with, I went into the back bumps and did the traditional way of starting your Tunisian pro, um, projects. And I um, finished off in pattern. I cast off in pattern. So I am using the traditional starts and finishes. My tension is much neater. It is slightly wonk. It could do with a really light blocking, but it's a washcloth, so I'm not gonna. And that is how the colour pulled in this one. Very nice and texturous. There's a look at the back, all the pearl bumpies all the wigglies and there we go and it's a nice little washcloth size so like I said it was a bit of a pain to begin with but once I got in the groove and got in the flow it was very manageable and I could do it in a reasonable amount of time didn't get overly frustrated it was okay now sorry I'm pulling my socks up because they're slipping down inside my slippers and I don't like that do apologize excuse me um yes so and i'm still in my work gear because i got home from work late and i needed to film this for you stop squirreling man for my goodness so yes as i've said tunisian isn't my favorite technique but it is certainly not my least favorite it is somewhere in the middle it is not something at this present moment in time that i am really going to fall in love with and do massive projects but I am enjoying practicing the different stitches once a week with Lenan and creating a wonderful dishcloth or washcloth um, and just doing a small little sample to see if I can do these stitches. So it's helping build my confidence. It's helping me finesse some of the techniques you need to be able to do it. And it is becoming less of a and more of a, okay, let's see how this one goes. So we're warming up slowly. Now, Lenan loves Tunisian and everyone else that loves Tunisian, I completely respect that. Absolutely a-okay. 
but for me traditional crochet is always going to be top dog closely followed by mosaic and i need to do some more mosaic at some point this year as well so yeah overall pretty enjoyable it was it was more than okay but it wasn't something like yeah i gotta do more um it was good and Linan is so so good with her tutorials she goes at a really reasonable speed she explains things super clearly you can definitely clearly see where she's putting her hook and what you need to do she runs through it enough times for you to be able to start getting in your flow she really is great at teaching us these tunisian stitches so if tunisian is something you're interested in go and check out her tunisian tuesday segment it really is great we have done a multitude of stitches now and it is really cool to say that I've got a little sample of them all. Um, but it's not just the Tunisian Tuesdays that Lanan does. She does all sorts. Yarn hauls, uh, whips, FOs. She is one of the um, Boggy Creek Camp Brigade. She has a lot of fabulous stuff over on her channel. So please go check her out. If you're not familiar, you will not be disappointed. And Lanan, thank you once again for a fabulous tutorial and I look forward to the next one. So that is my FO guys. Now, only one more thing. So it's not gonna be a super long video because I just didn't get all that much done and some of the things I got done, I can't show you. Um, so it is living in the project bag that the lovely Aussie Sandy gave me. So not only does it have a carry strap, it has drawstrings as well, guys. It is absolutely gorgeous loves it and one of my other 24 goals for 2024 is to always have a cinnamon stitches pattern on my hooks and you saw last week that I had finished the one that I had been making so I had to get another one on my hooks right well the last project was a bag and this project is a bag apparently I've got a thing for bags now prior to youtube bags were not on my radar but clearly cinnamon stitches aka jennifer aka jen has got me hooked hook line and sinker on bags because they are gorgeous i love them now i'm pretty sure all of you are familiar with jen cinnamon stitches but if not her channel link is of course down below i will also link both tutorials of both the tunisian washcloth and um cinnamon stitches bag sorry my brain disappeared then um down below as well so you have a direct link to the people and you have a direct link to either the stitch or the project that i have mentioned now this is of course the fun shine bag slash purse that she created designed tutorialized for us for premier week which was a couple of weeks ago now and I was late on the bandwagon but that was because I hadn't finished my boho chic bag yet but I have finished my boho chic bag now and I absolutely bloody love it and um when I saw this one I'm like I need to make that one too so now I am making this one you saw me make up some notion pouches this week so of course I have notion pouches and even though these are flamingos and these are parakeets or lorikeets or whatever gorgeous um tropical bird they are it's blue and birds so kind of a theme going so for this one i don't know if i've left the hook in here because i'm using the hook for multiple things no i didn't but i can tell you for this one i am using my 5.5 millimeter dots which is the lilac -y one because that's the hook recommended by jen and she also recommended a four weight yarn and i'm using a four weight yarn but if you know Mantha, you will know that I am trying to hashtag stash down at 2024 as well. So I wanted to use stash. It is not a premier yarn, even though it was featured for premier week, but she encouraged us to use our stash. It's okay. I'm sure Jen will forgive me. I hope so. I'm sure it's fine. Um, so I went digging around in my stash peeps and you might notice that there is a slight, where's my finger, slight gap in this cube here because I took a cake from there. And like Jen says, this lends itself to cakes so well because like Jen, I fall in love with cakes. You can see that just behind me. 
but it's very hard to find a project that lends itself so seamlessly to self-striping cakes because you have to have just the right project to go with them and I as well like Jen do not like harsh breaks in my colors I like it to kind of blend a bit better or I do color control now I trusted Jen with this one and said no I'm not color controlling I'm just going to let the yarn flow because Jen says the stitch that she's chosen it isn't that obvious where the colors change there are color changes and if you look you will see but it's not oh it changed color right there because I really don't like that look all power to you if you're not bothered by it but for me it's not my cup of tea and I would rather color control or have a fabulous pattern like this one where it isn't that noticeable so what yarn did I choose well I've got I've only got two cakes and it's going to be more than enough it's absolutely fine and these have been in my stash for a little while now they were gifted to me by Yarny Fairy Godmother and they are Karen and I kind of felt a little bit bad for using Karen because I don't think Karen is one of Jen's favorites so it's a little bit ironic that I chose a yarn that she isn't favorable on for one of her designs so that I might have to apologize to Jen for sorry but she might forgive me when I show her the colorway because again like Jen we both love rainbows so I had to I had to do a rainbow bag guys as soon as I saw that pattern I was like I need a rainbow version that's exactly what I'm doing so I chose Karen cakes out of my stash like I said gifted to me by Yarny Fairy Godmother and it is a four weight they recommend five millimeter needles and five millimeter hook well I'm using a 5.5 millimeter hook um, hand wash do not bleach lay flat do not iron cannot dry clean and it also says underneath all of those symbols hand wash lay flat dry it is 80% acrylic and 20% wool so it's not going to be suitable for absolutely all of you and I totally understand that but wool doesn't irritate me I'm not the biggest fan of wool but if it's soft I'm all right with it and if it doesn't smell like a farm I'm all right with it so this one I'm all right with because also it's a beautiful rainbow right these cakes are 7.1 ounces or 200 grams and they are 383 yards or 350 meters and this one in particular is called rainbow sprinkles gorgeous now this is what i have got left of the first cake and i'm still working on it guys so as you can see it's proper floppy i've used about half maybe so i'm still attached now i think my bag has turned out a little bit smaller than jen's but i am a super tight crocheter so I'm thinking if I make another one, and that is a very strong possibility because I have become addicted to this. I have not wanted to put it down, even though I've got other things to get going as well. I think if I went up to a six, maybe a 6.5, I would get the sizing a bit better because mine is a little bit diddy, but that's okay. That's fine. It can be just a little grab bag just to put your keys, your wallet, and you know essentials when you don't need a whole like handbag full of junk to take with you just a few key essentials and rainbow goes with every outfit in my opinion like i would even wear this bag into work even though i wear a black suit a blouse or a top and boots i would so wear my rainbow bag just saying so would you like to see how it's turning out i have fallen in love with this so much so there is one side and there is the other side so I am going to hold it in frame as close as I can before you lose any of the colour. I want you to tell me if colour changes really stand out or whether you can't really tell unless you really look for them. The only one that stands out to me, and that is because it is a brighter colour than the rest, is, oh, is this one here. But other than that, 
I think the pattern lends itself to striping yarn impeccably. Like, it is perfection, in my opinion. Now, we all know I'm a big Cinnamon Stitches fan. We all know that I am going to big her up at every opportunity that I can get because A, she deserves it, B, she works her butt off, and C, she does make beautiful, beautiful patterns for us to recreate. And she does the tutorial, and you don't have to pay for them, they're free. And she's just a wonderful person, so what's not to love? Of course I'm going to shout her name from the rooftops. But honestly, if someone right now said the only thing you can ever work on and keep recreating for the rest of your crochet um, career, what would it be? It would probably, this bag would be that right now. It might change when I find other things. But for right now, if that scenario actually happened within the next couple of minutes, it would be this bag and I would just keep churning them out. I would get through a lot of my cakes. Because like I said, and like she says, it's very tricky to find projects that suit the cakes so well. And this one is faultless, in my opinion. Cannot recommend it or praise it highly enough. And Jen, if you are watching, once again, smashed it out of the park. Love you to absolute bits and pieces. And oh, you just ignite sparks and fireworks in my crochet um, life you really really do and I could never thank you enough you are awesome and um, I hope a lot of other people um, I well I know a lot of people have been making this I'm seeing them everywhere I mean how she ain't gone viral is beyond me but honestly it is stunning so my plan is I am obviously going to finish up the little bit of blue that I got in there and I'm going to go back to the red and get the red in there and then I'm probably going to use the orange for the strap so I'm just going to have a single colour strap to see if one cake did it and then I've got another one so maybe I'll make a twin bag I don't know maybe this will go back in stash I don't know because I don't really fancy just taking a smidgy bit out of this one if I can get the whole project out of this one yeah do you see what I mean see where I'm going but yeah there we go so it's not as big as Jen's but I am okay with that. And it might be taller than it is wider. But that's okay. Who doesn't like a deep bag? I know I do. Just saying. So that, guys, is what I have been up to this week. And I hope you enjoyed it. Check out the folks that I have mentioned down below. Go and tell Christina over at Bella and Ginetto happy birthday. Because she shares a birthday with me, which is today um and please come back tomorrow because there will be a special video if my internet is not a jerk let's just put it like that and we are of course planning to go live usual time now i messed up a bit because i didn't realize you guys had moved forward in time because time's confusing to mount Fat and it is even more confusing for you guys for me about you guys in the states because of all the different time zones and it's always going to be an issue with Mountfa because I just don't get it. And I don't give it enough brain power to understand, to be fair. So I think it is still 9pm UK time for me. But I think it is now 5pm Eastern, straight after Granny D. Used to be 4. You've jumped forward an hour. So logic seems to make me think it's going to be 5. And I'm pretty sure Panda told me it was 5. I'll schedule it. Look for the schedule and click the bell to notify you and you'll get there on time. Now, yes, it is a celebration of myself and Christina, but no, it is not going to be giveaway, 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 giveaway. It is another just chill, hang together, love on each other, build each other up and our usual live. It just happens to be the day after mine and Christina's birthday. And why not say it's a birthday bash, right? But no, it's not going to be giveaways because times are tight. Money is a bit of a struggle, not going to lie to you. And um, I just can't keep doing it time after time. And I hope you understand because, you know, someone made a very valid point. If people only come to your channel to see what they can get from you, then they are not loyal and loving and supportive friends. Loving, loyal and supportive friends will come and spend time with you whether you have stuff to give away as gifts or not. So... 
there we have it guys that's just how it is so i really hope you can make it i really really want to spend some of my birthday weekend with you um i'm really looking forward to it you know i love my lives it is one of the favorite things that i do here on this channel um and yeah just just come and just come and have fun just come and have a giggle um and then another week will begin yes it will i'll be another year closer to 40 and then another week will be beginning very very shortly so if you can't make it i completely understand if lives aren't your thing i completely understand i will see you in the brand new week but for those of you that do come tomorrow night thank you so so much in advance and thank you all for watching this video i really do appreciate it so until i see you tomorrow guys Stay safe, be kind, look after one another, get some good quality time in with your loved ones and get some good quality crafting time in. I will see you in the next one or around the YouTube streets. I'm off to find cake. Bye.